What's going on? It's been a few weeks, but I'm back with a new video. Today, I take a short field trip for some high octane fun. So I went to the drag strip for the very first time in my life. The main reason is I just wanted to shoot some dragsters. Another reason is I wanted to give JD an opportunity to get to know his brand new gimbal. We also brought along our other friend Rooster, who ended up taking control of his old, my new GoPro, <laughs> and he ended up getting some pretty good shots with that as well. What's going on everybody? Today we're going to the drag races. I got Rooster with me. What's up? We're gonna go do this, man, so let's roll. So this is the first time I've ever gone to drag races. So this is gonna be a new experience for me. I mean, I don't know. It could be cool. It could suck. Who knows? So as you can see, we're just sitting here doing nothing. Nothing's going on, we're waiting in this line. We just had to sign a release in case you know. Drag, dragsters fly into the, the crowd and beheads everybody like they're not responsible um, so yeah but yeah here, here we go here's what we're looking at just uh yeah Now, I'll be the first to admit that taking photos of motorsports is fun, yet it's stressful and really tiring, especially for someone who's totally not used to it. The pit area is pretty small, and it has two guys in there, one that controls the lights, AKA in this case, the Christmas tree, and the other guy who is guiding the cars in and keeping the pavement wet so they can do their burnouts. Then there was me. The guy that's just in the pit, trying to stay out of everybody's way. I didn't know if I should go left, if I should go right. I was too busy trying to stay out of their way that I ended up not taking any shots. Thankfully, JD was there to get some really good shots with his gimbal. Now, a lot of the shots were burnouts, where the cars are just burning out, warming up their tires so they don't slide all over the track. That to me was the most entertaining part. The actual race, you don't get to see because you're in the pit. The light goes green, they're gone. You don't even know who won. You're so far back. I mean, it's like, what, a mile, a quarter mile, half a mile, something like that. There's no way to tell who won that. So we spent most of the time just taking shots of the burnouts, filming the burnouts. <laughs> and then there was this Tesla. Man, I need a drink for this one. It rolled up onto the line, it bypassed the wet spot and it's sitting at the, at the starting line while the other car is burning rubber, warming up its tires, making a lot of noise. This Tesla is dead silent. I can't hear it. And I look over at JD, JD looks over at Rooster. We're like, what, what, what's about to happen here? Like, I've never seen an electric car drag race before. And so my expectations are pretty low. The light turns green and this Tesla is gone, man. This Tesla just, it, totally blew this other car away, which was just hilarious to me. Hey. So yeah, now we're just walking around. James needed to go get some pizza and water or some shit. No, no pizza. I have no idea. Just water. All I know is I'm just walking around looking like a crossing guard, man. That's what I'm doing. Here we are, man. Uh, first one, so let's, let's see what, what we can do.
Motorsport photography is definitely fun and I enjoyed every minute of it, even though I'm not a huge fan of racing or sports in general. I actually intend on going back a lot more just to get more comfortable with the whole system and how everything works. Here within the next couple of weeks actually, I'll be shooting down at the local dirt track for the opening day. I'm going to be shooting some hobby stock, some sprint cars, and some good old fashioned demolition derby. That should provide some really cool photos. So here's some of the shots that I took at the drag strip. Check them out and I'll see you in the next video.